to day three. Uh, started off in Milton Mowbray today. This is the pork pie shop behind me that we've just been to for a Milton Mowbray pork pie. Very nice. Dickens and, and Morris, Dickens and Morris. And uh, anyway, we're heading down to the train station. Just walked away from the guest house. Won't be going there again, unfortunately, because the bed was far too hard. Other than that, though, it was all right. So, market's getting set up. We've got about 20 minutes to get to the train station, so it's not too bad. Should do it about just over five. Nice place, Milton Mowbray. So we're heading for Cardiff today via Birmingham. <sighs> Railway station this way. Take some old battle helmets. I know someone who would like that. Five A. Where well, that goes? Let's take the authorised walking route. Church here. Not sure which one it is. Uh, this is the Anne of Cleves, which we uh, had a food in yesterday. Oh, it's Melton Mowbray Parish Church, by the looks of things. <coughs> St Mary's. And this is the Anne of Cleves, where we had food yesterday. Read that if you want to pause it, pause it and read it rather. That's the sign that's, you see, when you approach it from the train station. Right, train station just down here. Somebody get wet at that bus stop if they're not careful. And on the previous evening we had food at Purple Garlic. An Indian place had the uh, obligatory chicken tikka masala. <coughs> There's one to a fish and chip shops as well, as you'd expect.
we're not doing any significant walking today we're not so some like lock ups under the arches here of the road bridge or road viaduct if you want to call it that goes over the railway and a river <coughs> right look what we're crossing now here this hasn't been used for some time how overgrown it is and it links onto the main line down there or, or possibly did I may not may not do that now but anyway we want to be on the opposite side because we're going to Birmingham be a good hour or so from here hour and a half I think Right. We're going down that way. Hey, a signal's off. Semaphore. And that's looking towards Corby and Peterborough. Or whatever. We've got a freight coming through. to Leicester, we're just leaving now. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard your 948 cross country service to Birmingham New Street. We'll be calling at Nuneaton, Cotton Parkway and Birmingham New Street. Expected time for arrival 10.38. This is the Colville line here, coming in now. We're turning right further down here now. Coming up to South Wigston where we did a walk before to Narborough. Platforms we got here off here yesterday, but uh, we're not doing that today. We're going to the Birmingham. You'll see the uh, flyover shortly. Not that long since we're here. Shortly, which is over there. That was. Used to miss.
they still eat the station out completely. It's partly been brought back into use. It's the West Coast Main Line. Service is coming in from the right, it's just here now. Not sure how lot uses it now actually, but this service technically still could, I think. Right, we arrived at Birmingham New Street, that is our train we just used there, 17114. It's going back out to Leicester now, local service to Leicester. And uh, we are going to head upstairs for a bit now because we've got the best part of an hour, about 50 minutes or so, for the train to Cardiff, which I think will be another one like that, another 170. Hey, one of the new colours here. West Midlands trains. Right, this has been modified in the last uh, couple of years or so now, and it's uh, a lot better. It's uh, difficult to remember now what it was like before, actually. Grand Central, even though Grand Central don't come here, a little bit. Uh, well, what do you think? Nice big roof. And all that. So I think our next train now is 11.30 to Cardiff Central. It might not even be on yet. I'll have to check it anyway, but I think it's... Uh, but, uh, what is it? Hollywood cancel, that's brilliant, isn't it? 11B, right at the top of that screen there. Right, we're on the mezzanine level now. It's just gone 11 o'clock and they said they're going to test the fire alarms, so we'll hear what that sounds like. Nice. Price doesn't though. Okay, I think maybe look down now. Charge your phone if you want.
that's the fire alarm. It's only a test. Attention please. Attention please. This is an emergency. Please leave the building by the nearest available exit. This is our train coming in now for Cardiff, another 170. It's a three car set, is this? One arrive, one leaves. There'll be quite a lot getting off it. Right, we're just leaving New Street now. Now we're going out via Selly Oak, of course, because we're stopping at university. So that's the first stop. Ah, oh, there's a new street signal box there. I wonder where that was. So we're on this train for about two hours now. It's about half past uh, 1 30, 30 or so to Cardiff. And then we'll head over to Lanish and hopefully we're going to check out that smell slam. So let's keep going. Just outside Birmingham now. Just gone past five ways a few moments ago. Approaching University Station. Great positioning of the seats, look where the seats are, and the window, you've got that right in the sodding way, spot on, not. So you can see University Station shortly, there's a canal just over there which we follow for quite a way. because that Redditch train went out in front of us, didn't it? It's probably all stations to Redditch. Yeah, University. The Queen Elizabeth Hospital and University of Birmingham, of course. A busy little station. Sending the Licky Bank now. And it's got overhead wires for the services to Bromsgrove. Station's still there, I don't have any left of it or not. So they need to get off here one day. Right, well this is roughly where it was now, the old station. The new one is over there. That's the new Bromsgrove station there. The old one's been dug away. Right, 
Right, we're in, running alongside the River Severn estuary now, from Gloucester down towards Newport, Seven Tunnel Junction, uh, where we join the main South Wales main line from Paddington. We're not stopping at Lydney. Not so sure we've gone through it yet or not, but it's uh, quite broad here as the River Severn now. The sun's making it a bit difficult to see, but. in Chepstow now and here we are that's the river and we're now in Wales so Croesa y Cymru Ladies and gentlemen our next station call is Chepstow please mind the gap by leaving the train Chepstow next station What are you recording for? Login <laughs> Welcome to Wales <laughs> I study here. Uh -huh. I'm actually doing media, so I was intrigued by your camera. Right, this is Chepstow. Right now, approaching Newport. Getting ready for electrification here massively now, aren't they? Now, why is platform one so little used? I can never understand why. Just waiting for a platform at Cardiff Central now, so not really far away. The connection leaves in about five minutes, so we've not got long. If we can do it. Right, this is our train now. The train on the other side actually in transport for Wales Colours. Right, at least we got 150 instead of a 144. Or whatever it was. Tables are the 150, eh? Not bad. Right, leaving Cardiff Central, the way we came in. But we're going up and over this time. If I remember rightly, an iron ore train derailed somewhere here about eight or nine years ago. I'm not sure when but it was a while ago. It damaged the ride up. <coughs> right on the climb up to Queen Street now.
Queen Street. It's almost like Glasgow, is this, isn't it? Kind of central, and, yeah. Kind of central and Queen Street. Although some of the stations in Glasgow are not directly linked by rail. Now this is a line that goes down to Coryton. We're on the Heath High Level now. Heath Low Level is further across, but not very far though. Right, we failed to find the uh, health spa and whatnot in Clinician. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a little walk back to the station now, which is down this way, and then uh, have a little ride to Penarth. Uh, we're going off at Dingle Road and get back on at Penarth. There's not a lot to see here in Clinician, so I'll just cross over. I don't know why that road's closed, but it is Mill Road. So. It's actually an old people's home of some kind in the actual location that Google came up with. So, it doesn't appear to exist. So there's a train in about seven or eight minutes from Thanishan through to Penarth. We'll get off at the last stop and just walk the last little bit. Hang around in Penarth for a bit until it's time to go on the on the Pullman train to Hollyhead. Looking forward to that. Plenty of battery power at the moment. Over 40 minutes. Right, here we are, Lanishan. We're going down there shortly, just to let you have a look from the bridge. There's the station. And we obviously want the, uh, the right-hand platform, which I think will be the up platform. Because uh, down is away from London, so, you know. Right. Thought I recognised him then. Uh, don't know what this is. Some kind of uh, it's a house or what? But anyway, we'll cross over and walk along the other side, cross back, and uh, then go down the station to the platform that we need. Right, this is looking south towards Cardiff. And if I stand here. The train has just gone, but look of it, has one coming towards us. That has actually stopped at heat high level right down there. I'll zoom it right in. Yeah, it's full zoom now. Yeah. Heath high level's down there. <laughs> Crack here. It's just leaving 142 by the look of it. Let's get onto the platform. Oh, nice colour of van. Pinkspiration, I love it. Even pink Ivis vests. Right. Down the slope, eh? Hey? Looks like it's got to. Uh, Full disability access this station. And when I come down here in icy conditions, that's a bit, uh, a bit slippy. There's a handrail though. <sighs> Penarth, five minutes. That's good. Right, here's that train we saw earlier.
It's stopping, it must be going a bit quick, does this one? Solo 142. All the way to Rumney. I wonder if that's been in West Yorkshire. Wouldn't surprise me. Right, there it goes. Yeah, 142085. That that will have been in West Yorkshire at some point and the surrounding area. Just 142084, just one number lower was the one with the Cummins diesel engine. Right, so this is our next train now. Not just back to Cardiff, but through to Penarth. We're going to get off at Dingle Road, walk the last bit, then head back in. It's 152.31. We've been spared a pacer so far. So I'm just pulling into Queen Street now again, and then back to Central, and we'll head over to Dingle Road. Leaving Queen Street now, this is the line to Cardiff Bay now, what was Butte Road at one time. It's got a reasonable shine in it, it was down for closure at one point, so I was led to believe, but it's obviously still sees quite a bit of use now. It's like a relief offshoot, so you don't have to go down to Central and clog it up. Looks like it was double track at one time as well. Over the top of the main line, you see the main line down there. Yeah. Right, just leaving Cardiff Central now. I'm not sure what river it is, but I'm sure you'll tell me. <laughs> Curving round to the left, quite sharply next up here. Right, we are curving round now. Cardiff Church and some depot is on the opposite side. Because we didn't go to the Hell Sparks, it didn't exist, we've had a little ride on to Dingle Road. We're going to walk down this way next to Penarth, but uh, thought you might like to see the train go. <coughs> He's already got Rumney on it, ready for the train back, the journey back, so... What a quaint little station. Another one ticked off. Just up and half down there, it's only about half a mile. But right. I got the impression the platform might have been on the other side here actually, but it wasn't. It's on, it's on this side. Looks like there's a disused platform over there. Should we get a ticket? Seats. We'll get a ticket when we get to um, when we get to Penarth. Let's go over the footbridge because we've got bags of time. I said I want any walking today, but <laughs> my fickle self <coughs> still Dingle Road. So. If Penarth isn't very far, in fact I'll set the iPad to record. Right, we just walked over the footbridge back there. 
and uh, <coughs> let's do a right and a left here. That's nothing fantastic, isn't this short walk? But uh, rather than uh, sit at Penarth or whatever for ages, we'll walk it from here. Let's press the button. Red and across we go. Not down that one. We've got over an hour to do this walk anyway, it's only about <coughs> I'd say about half a mile to a mile, depending which way we walk. Take a matter of minutes if you walked it direct. Let's go up to the left up here now. Uh, a reasonable bit of a view here, looking out over Penarth Harbour. And uh, yes, it is just after five past three, 1506. So, what straight down here into St Joseph's Park? And there's a wiggly path down to the harbour. So, we'll do that and then go around to Penarth. Shouldn't take us too long. Right, this is the wiggly path. It certainly is wiggly. And we'll follow it exactly. I won't try short cutting like there, for example. <coughs> so the view ranger can hopefully Follow the correct alignment. It's not like we've nothing better to do. It's even a seat. Three, three. There's three seats. Wow. You can see IKEA at the far side, look over there. There's an IKEA store. <laughs> right, I said five there. So let's keep going and we'll walk down the rest of the wiggly path. Obviously, a lot of people have shortcut from what you can see. The guy on a bike up there with rather small wheels. I thought it was even Div Gorman at first, but obviously not. Only 15 minutes of battery power left now, suddenly dropped. Don't know why it does that, but. So we go down onto the main road here now. We'll uh, head to the right of the uh, marina. Right, 
head down this way, Penarth Marina. So that's the Wiggly Path, shows town centre back up there. So uh, let's go down here. I'll cross over. So the right side for the marina. Ah, here's the marina. I think we'll have to pass on any swimming though. It says no swimming. <laughs> never stopped you in the past though, has it? <sighs> Got some nice boats here, haven't they? I wonder if there's one of them called Contessa 2. You know what I'm referring to by that, sure. Anyone that's seen Keeping Up Appearances will have done. I won't bother actually going on the inner pontoons, I'll just stay here on the side. Anyway, it's a nice sight. If we had more time, we might be able to have had a boat trip somewhere. This looks like a lift, a boat lift to lift boats out of the water. There's one for sale here. Anyone fancy buying a boat? Doubt it'll be cheap. Quite a large marina, isn't it? Oh, I lost count, must be about 100 or so, easily. Right, we're in Penarth now, we've just got this train, so 142, a pair of them. Uh, possibly Express Yorkshire, who knows. So we'll go straight back on this train to Cardiff Central and then get the uh, dining train from there. Okay, let's do it. Right, this is the train we've been waiting for now. The uh, dining train to Hollyhead. Followed by 67022. We are in Coach I. Right, we're on the uh, dining train now. We've just left Hereford and the main course has now been served. This is it. Pork with the uh, all the trimmings, okay. The battery is just about out now, so. Right, we've uh, made it to Chester. Um, this is just about it now. Reverse is here, and then it's on to London uh, Junction, Hollyhead, etc. Okay, so cue music. And um, see you tomorrow when we walk to Tullacathlon. The first thing, enjoy.